Hi guys and welcome to my review of the Kynera Ud. Uh, well, in the, the grand scheme of things, I am monumentally late uh, doing the review of the Ud. But, um, well, better late than, than sorry. Uh, but the reason why only now I'm doing the Ud is that only now I was able to get my hands on one. And I want to thank Patrick for being so kind as to loan me his uh, Ud. Uh, and as uh, being a, a, a loner, there are a number of things which I will not be able to show you, namely the, the, the very complete accessory package that uh, that um, Kynera always provides with the IEMs. But anyway, but the other reason why I'm doing this uh, review now as well is to kind of set the stage for the coming reviews that I have planned for you. I've got planned for you the review of the Soundrime DTE 500, a tri uh, also a tribrid. I've got planned for you the review of the Penon 10th anniversary, again a tribrid, uh, and uh, also the review of the High Senior Mega 5 EST Mark II, again another tribrid. So before doing the review of those three, which are the, the latest ones, let's put it that way, I thought it would be interesting to revisit three goldies, namely the, uh, the Moondrop variations, the EJ07M, and the Yanyin Moonlight. Uh, some of them going back to 2021, but still available in the market. And also talk about the the Kynera Ud, uh, Kynera's, one of Kynera's uh, tribrids, uh, and, and try and, uh, well, position it among these, uh, so that then in the future review, we can also get a, a better picture of where this will fit. Anyway, as I said, I don't have the, the accessories package. The only thing I do have is the stock cable, which... I don't like or dislike, to be honest with you. I just feel that in a product that costs $650, a better quality cable should be provided. Fair enough, it's a modular cable. Um, as Actually, I can show you here a picture. It's a modular cable there, as you can see. Brings plenty of tips, which you can also see. So loads of tips, okay. And brings a very nice case as well, which none of these accessories I have. I actually had, to, had some trouble in finding pictures of the accessories, to be honest with you. But anyway, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, the cable, I, I, I don't think the cable does justice to the, the Ud, to be, to be uh, totally uh, frank. I mean, the Ud is, I'm using a, an XINHS cable. It's, um, it's one, of their, um, one of the better cables that they offer. This particular one is the... Um, is one which uses uh, a lit 7 configuration of, of copper, um, palladium, and graphene. Okay, it's a very nice cable. I'll link the, I'll link it to the uh, in the, the in the description. I'll link, I'll link, I'll link it. Uh, anyway, as for the IEM itself, is it's an absolute work of art. Um, in that in that respect, Kynera has gotten us used to a very high standard. They do not uh, mess around when it comes to making beautiful IEMs. It is hand-painted, uh, some of the elements of it are hand-painted, um, beautiful, period. It's a, it's a big IEM, okay, keep that in mind, it's a, it's a relatively big IEM. I mean, if I take this and compare it here to the EJ07, you can see what I mean. That's a big boy there, that's chunky, okay. So it might not be to everyone's taste when it comes to its size, but it is a very beautiful IEM, fits flawlessly. Uh, I'm using the, the stock um, KB Air styled tips, which uh, come in, well, th this is the medium size, and it allows for a nice deep insertion, which is actually quite, uh, you know, quite surprising given the, the big size of the shell. But it fits beautifully, I have no issues with the fit, no issues with it um, coming off, or it, it, you, once it's in, it stays in, that's it, period, you know. Um, and that's it, so in terms of the fit, the build quality, um, it, it, top marks. Uh, I've got absolutely nothing to say. Uh, as I mentioned already, IVPIQ cable. Um, and yeah, well, I, I told you what I have here in front of us. Uh, Moondrop variations, EJ07M, and uh, Yanyin Moonlight. So getting straight onto it and, and you know, what, what is uh, the whole uh, idea of, of the world and what it is about. Well, um, you know, Canary is a brand that um, 
uh, generates mixed feelings. Uh, it's either it is, uh, they've got their own tuning style, okay? And it, it either, you either like it or you don't like it. it they don't, um, they have a tendency of not wanting to follow the, let's say the, 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 the rest of the, of the tendencies. They do their own thing. Uh, and uh, you know, in, in this, this is this is exactly that. It's um, it's all about a very cohesive signature that's very correct in terms of its timbre and its tonality. That's you know very nice. The 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 you know in everything from the, the weight of the notes to the, the 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 female and male vocals, which have got a nice full body to them, to the um, uh, to the non-existence of any sort of sibilance or any peaks, um, but still uh, maintaining, um, a, 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 well, keeping a very high sense of musicality is 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 very evident. Um, it's you know, let's let's take the treble for example. Um, we already know it's a, it's a it's a kind of a darker sounding I am, but it is being so well done that the treble is delicate, but it's got the right amount of sparkle to complement the mids in the bass, you know? Uh, we already know it's kind of a, of a darker sounding IM, but its ability to do macro and micro uh, uh, resolution is still amazing. You know, it surprises you even. Uh, it's it's the, 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 the mids and the highs, although you would think that they would be somehow affected by this overall darker tonality, okay? Or absolutely flawless. Um, you know, I'm, I was listening to the to the Urd and immediately I had, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, flashbacks to listening to some of, of Penon's uh, products and some of ISN's products. Uh, and, and why do I say this? Well, because those two brands, much like Kainero, are brands that I fell prey to my own let's say ignorance. Um, I, although uh, I don't follow graphs to the T, uh, I perhaps was a little bit, um, um, I don't know, um, I'm going to say ignorant. Okay, I don't have an issue with criticizing myself. I was perhaps a little bit ignorant and it took me some time to actually give, you know, ISN, Penon and Chimera a try. Because when I looked at the graphs, the graphs never really appealed to me. They always had a certain element that I said to myself, mm, I don't think I'm going to like this. And because I'm also not a wealthy man and I can go around buying every single IEM without, you know, thinking twice, I kind of always was a little bit hesitant. And my first experience, which was the Ordur with Kainera, was uh, absolutely amazing. What a fantastic IEM, you know. The same thing happened when I tried the ISN uh, IEMs and then the... Um, the Panon IEMs, I mean, the Panon Serial is one of my favorites. Um, you know, the Globe, again, another one of my favorite IEMs. The EST-50 and the H-50, one of my two also favorite IEMs. Uh, I'm sure the Panon 10th anniversary will <laughs> be one of those. But talking about Kainera, <laughs> I'm sorry if I get carried away. The Urd has definitely earned its place as one of my favorite IEMs. And um, I have no issues with, with admitting it. I absolutely just am left speechless sometimes at how musical it can be. Fair enough, fair enough. Granted, it's not all, you know, perfect. It, it doesn't have, for example, the ultimate detail that you get on the, on the moonlight. No, it doesn't. Um, it doesn't have the, 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 the kind of sense of resolution that you get from the EJ07 or the sense of space, of soundstage. But what I do get is an immersive, uh, organic, musical, uh, fatigue-free listening experience. That's what I get from the wood. You know, I'm just taken in by the music and, just, and I just enjoy it. And before I know it, I've been listening to music for three hours or four hours. Uh, you know, uh, when I started preparing this, 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 uh, this particular review today, uh, I had listened countless times to the word, but I wanted to again, you know, kind of rekindle, jog, jog up my memory a little bit. And without, you know, it was very quick, uh, the, the way the time passed. And I was listening, I, I listened to it for two hours before I actually said, you know what, I've got to better, better start doing this review, otherwise it's not going to go, it's not going to happen. And that's exactly it. It is 
um, you know, to, 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 to basically summarize, the sound is all about musicality, uh, about being um, immersive, about you, you not having a, 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 an experience which is going to fatigue you, uh, and it's smooth, it's got amazing timbre and tonality, v female vocals are perfect. What is the part that is not the so good, but that I kind of, you know, just overlook it? It's the bass. Uh, and why the bass? Well, the bass is nice because it's, you know, it's, a, it's an eight millimeter driver. Uh, actually, the configuration of the Urden, I'll get through the configurations in a, in a few, in a few, sec a few seconds. The configuration of the Urden is a two plus one plus two, so two. A dual diaphragm dynamic driver, a single custom PA, um, and two Sonian uh, ESTs. <coughs> and every one of these has a different configuration. Um, so the base uh, in contemplating its 80 millimeter drivers, uh, it's, it's fantastic, fantastic. There's no problem in terms of the quantity of the base. Uh, and it's got nice, full, thick um, uh, sound to it. However, it is also a little bit uh, slow it can be a little bit sluggish and depending on what you listen to it can drag a little bit and that is ultimately the the main reason i think that sometimes the overall resolution and the overall micro micro details are not even better than what they already are considering that it, you know this is a warmer darker signature that, that where the base is a little bit on the thick side but well done the micro and micro resolution is amazing, but it could be better if the bass was just a little, a little bit snappier. If the bass was just, uh, just a, a, a smidge quicker, all of that would be completely, uh, you know, it wouldn't be a problem. And that's really the only place where I think uh, the wood is uh, uh, not at its best, is the bass being slow. And the bass being slow affects then the macro and macro details, and affects some separation, affects some details. In terms of its uh, other technical abilities, it's got a, an acceptable soundstage, not the soundstage that I would expect for something that costs this much. Um, better imaging. Um, actually, just just going back to the soundstage quickly, uh, you know, the soundstage is uh, is um, decently tall, decently deep. De deep not just not wide that's the you know the width uh, is the way it lacks in terms of depth and height it's fine it's the width that could be better for the price imaging is fine nothing there timbre and tonality i already said it's fine micro macro and micro details uh, again it's fine for how the tuning was conceived um and that's it that's that's basically in a nutshell the wood it is a, a really enjoyable experience there's you know uh, um, you, you you cannot fault it if you truly understand uh, what the, the the design premise and what the design philosophy for the sound was, and I think that sometimes is is uh, is an aspect that some of you know us reviewers we get carried away and you know we, we okay there are things which are blatant uh, uh, blatant uh, for the lack of a better word blatant garbage, but um, you know it, it, we must always try and approach things in a very neutral very um, unbiased manner and, and try and see, okay, what was it that they wanted to do? They wanted to do this. Did they do it? Yes. Okay, fine. And if that is done, perfect. You know, uh, so even if it might not be the ideal, let's say, tuning for us that we prefer, that we like the most, as long as it's well done, that's what we should convey. That's our responsibility to convey that. Okay. Um, so yeah, I guess I've basically given the description of the of the Chimera and, and, and of the Ord and and you know what 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 it's capable of doing. Compared then to the other three IMs that I have here, what where, where how does it stand or where does it stand? Okay, first of all, uh, let me go by uh, again what I was saying in terms of the configurations. The the variations it's a one plus two plus two, so one DD, two BAs, two ESTs. The EJ uh, 07 is uh, 1DD, 2BAs, 4 ESTs. The, moon, the Moonlight is uh, 1DD, uh, 4BAs, and 2 ESTs. And this is a 2 plus 1 plus 2, like I mentioned earlier. So all of them have got different approaches, different configurations, uh, all different flavors. Okay? 
these two are probably the one that are the, the, the closest, okay? Although in the variations, as we know, we have that very quick roll off of the, of the bass. It's very sub bass focused. There's a little bit of, of, of mid bass impact missing out there, which kind of empty, creates a little bit of a, vo of a, of a, of a void there in the, in, in, in the, in the complementing of the voices, especially the male vocals. Um, but overall, overall, we know the variations is a very capable IM. Very detailed, the, the ESTs are very well implemented in my opinion, great extension up top. Uh, it, you know, it's the, it's the VDSF signature, tried and proven, well executed, well done. Uh, it's an IM that you either like it or don't like it as well. Uh, technically, uh, it is better overall than the old, it is. It is, that's, that's the truth. It is, a, is it a monumental difference? No, I think the Oud in terms of its musicality and in terms of timbre and tonality is superior to the Moondrop. Where the Moondrop beats is in terms of the sound stage and the imaging and more details here than here, okay? Um, where the Moondrop again edges out the Oud is in its price. We're talking about $499 versus 650. And the price is, you know, taking into consideration other factors, but the price is the world's biggest Achilles heel. It is, in my opinion, maybe back then, in the grand scheme of things, it was okay, uh, acceptable. In today's market, completely out of, uh, com it's, it's, it's uncompetitive. It's uncompetitive. People are expecting more for less money. So th the price, if it was in today's market, I would say that this should be no more than mid $400. $429, 450, from $420 to $450. That would be the price that this should be costing. Okay? Compared to the EJ, uh, overall the EJ is a better IEM. I'm not going to deny it. It's got amazing ba sub bass extension. The bass is cleaner than it is here. That's the biggest thing that straight away you notice. Um, you also notice that the mids here are more open, more detailed. The ESTs are implemented in a way that you you don't feel them. And I recall the first time I heard the EJ, I was like, I don't know, maybe because I was expecting to, oh, I'm gonna have now this crazy treble or something. And, and I was kind of, is it working, it's not working. And only when I started comparing with other IEMs and BAs and so on and so forth, that I started noticing, okay, the way that they've implemented the, the, the ESTs here is so subtle, so, so well done, that it's just there to fill in the gaps. That's it, you know? Um, very, very, very smoothly done. Overall, it is a, a, a superior IEM in terms of its uh, frequency response or to, to the wood. Uh, and when I say superior, it's, I think it will, it will satisfy a wider range of people, okay? And also a, a wider range of, of, of music genres. This, for example, if you are into vocals and so on and so forth, it will not be able to shine or give its full potential. Well, that they will. So, yes, the, the, the EJ07 is a, a superior IM to the wood. Again, is it a monumental difference? Is it a, a bloodbath? No, it's not. It's not. I'm, I'm talking minor differences here. Okay, but they are present, um, uh, especially in the mids, the quality of the bass. Uh, that's, that's where you see the biggest differences. Okay, and obviously then in the technicalities as well, there's a superiority of the EJ. But that was already to be expected because technically the EJ uh, has always been very, very good in that department. That finally leaves us then with the Moonlight. The Moonlight. Uh, costs uh, $619, I've, I've actually forgot to mention, this is $630. So very similar to the price of the, of the, of the Oud. Um, you know, and again, in today's market, I believe it should be slightly cheaper. It, it, it's, it's, it's excessive, the price. Finally, the Moonlight, as I was saying, that's uh, $620, give or take. Very nicely built shell, fits beautifully. Um, very nice IEM. Uh, again, follows very much that Yan Yin uh, signature that they have. And what is that signature? Very mid focused. Uh, great in the mids, great in the highs. Um, I mean, you, you know there's ESTs working there. While here, the ESTs are very subdued. They are pre more, more noticeable in the moon drop than on the EJ, but they are very subdued, very relaxed, very, you know, we're just here to, 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 to watch 
what's going on. We, we just have to oversee, okay? Uh, in the Urd, again, again, the same kind of situation, very relaxed, very, it's just, as I mentioned, it's just the right amount of treble and, and to complement everything else, okay? Over there, no, it's, it makes itself well known. You notice straight away that there's loads of extension, which is nice because if you don't have a high-powered device, it will play pretty well with, with, a, with a, a more lowered power dongle or something like that, um, which is something that, for example, I uh, recommend you choose your source carefully with the wood. If you choose a darker source, you, you're even going to compound further the, 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 the sound that it has. I absolutely adored listening to the wood with the Megatron and, with the, and just with the M15. I ended up then, you know, using it with the NX7, but just with the M15, M15 by itself, with the Urd, top marks. Megatron, top marks as well. The Yanyan, uh, you, you know, you, you've got to choose something carefully, otherwise it's, it's going to be too much. Compared with the Urd, loads more detail, yes, definitely loads more detail, uh, more open sound, but it's also a sound that will fatigue you quicker than the Urd, all right? Um, the bass there is of very high quality, but not as, uh, not as much quantity as you find in the wood. So overall, the wood does, in my opinion, does come out in front of the, of the moonlight. Uh, I don't have yet the, the HBB collaboration, which has just a few extra dBs in the bass, which I actually think is where that needs uh, a touch up to complement then the rest nicely. If that just had a smidge more bass, which is what HBB did, then the rest, which apparently seems highly energetic and excessive, will just fall into place beautifully. And then we're talking a different beast. Then the HBB uh, Moonlight, I never heard it. Uh, I can only base myself on what I heard people that actually have both have told me. Uh, and they told me that it's, it's a very different IEM. Uh, way more, um, it makes more sense, uh, okay? So overall, to uh, wrap things up now and, and, and you know, and just uh, finish this up. Uh, what can I say? Great musicality, great timbre, great tonality, non-fatiguing. This is for you to listen to for hours and hours and hours. Like today is a, a rainy day here in, in, in Portugal, here in Lisbon. And it, it's, you know, it's perfect. You just want to sit back in the couch, some music and just listen this is the i am for that perfect okay as compared to some of the more established players in the in the market um it's not that they are outright winners or losers here it's just that they are overall more complete and that's what edges is about uh, and coupled to the fact that some of them are cheaper as well case in point being the moon drop variations okay the moon drop variations does uh, edge out uh, and, and is slightly superior to the wood um the EJ07, again, the same situation. Uh, sonically, it is superior to the Urd. Only the Yanyan actually falls short of being superior to the Urd, mainly because of its um, way too vivid presentation in the mids and highs, which are good, it's fine, but it can become fatigue, can become too much, can scream at you, which is not exactly what, um, um, what we want. Just finally, just uh, for the sake of, of those that have some curiosity, the name Urd um, is, um, is, uh, uh, is in Nord, Nord mythology. She is one of three uh, wise women that uh, basically determine uh, the allotted uh, life that each one of us has. So one of them will uh, spin the thread of each of each of, each of us our, of our lives. So she will determine what the thread of our life will be. The other will measure its length, so how long our life will be, and the other will decide when that thread, when our life should be, which should end it. Should end. So basically, basically Urd uh, represents, in those three uh, uh, Norns, as they are known, uh, it represents the past. You have uh, Veroandi, which represents present, and then you have Skald, which actually is another name of another kind of I am, which represents the future. So past, present, future. This is the past, and in, in, in a way, it actually is very suiting to the type of sound that uh, the, the wood has and, and has given us. Guys, I'll show you now the, the graphs, and uh, we'll wrap it up. All right, we take care. Hi, guys, and uh, welcome now to the uh, graph section of the Chimera Wood review. 
and let me start by showing you the graph of the wood as you can see sub base focus just nice and gentle into the mid base flat very early you know no no bleed into the mids carries on but then it's got this very very relaxed game you know very relaxed pin again which because you have this much uh, coming from behind can make things yeah just a tad a little bit darker than would be desired but however as i mentioned uh, it, it's still very well executed very well done and it, it, you, you know um, it, it sounds very musical it sounds uh, in terms of its timbre and tonality it's, it sounds very very nice that's really not an issue and then just kind of carries on almost plateaued across uh, the, the, you know the whole of the the, the, the rest of the upper mids and, and the treble and then it starts dropping off in some extension past 10k very relaxed treble again i mean everything is just done in a very smooth relaxed manner no nothing aggressive or anything of the sort okay first one i'm going to show you is the moon drop variations compared to it and straight away you can see the moon drop variations uh by a graph seems like it's got the same kind of base of the earth no it's got way way more base uh, but then because it's got this little bit here missing which you know you would think oh, it's not gonna make much difference but coupled to the fact you have a, a significantly more energetic area of the mids and upper mids you you feel there's a kind of a little bit of a void in complementing that area okay and then great extension past that I mean it's beautiful in terms of the mids there's really nothing that can be said negative of the variations apart from this lack of a little bit mid bass technically very capable superior to the wood not dramatic but it's it's there okay next is the um, ej ej actually by the graph you'd think oh okay the ej and the wood are copy paste of each other they you know, maybe it's even left and right channel with some little issue going on in one of the channels again it, you, no the base of the of the EJ is just phenomenal, phenomenal, and then the way that that base, that mid base, how it marries in with with the mids, how the pin again is. I mean, everything stays within a seventy seven, within an eight dB window. Okay, uh, very much like the wood, mind you, but it's just the the balance of things that just makes makes the EJ sound phenomenal. In terms of extension as well, well more extension but for some reason when, when you take the ej and the variations let me just put the variations here for a second um and it seems like they're very similar no there's there's this extra energy here in the variations around the six seven eight nine ten k area which does make it a little bit a little bit more detailed than the than the ej not it does that doesn't mean it's better it just makes it a little bit more detailed okay and then finally putting the moonlight uh, again the moonlight it's not in the mids uh, and in the treble that you see the the biggest difference to the wood you can by the looks of the graph it seems they seem very kind of compatible with each, with each other in terms of of energy okay which is the problem here or the issue here that makes this area sound significantly more energetic than what it in fact is is the base which is very very relaxed i mean this is neutral uh, for me this is neutral uh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna say it's, it's basically flat because from the lowest point of the base 77 4 dBs uh, also considering that the peak of those 4 dBs is in an area around 30 just close just off 40 Hertz where not much music is ha not much is happening down there so it's basically flat um, fantastic mids very detailed very, but it can become a little bit fatiguing because it doesn't have that much energy anyway guys that's the kind of wood i absolutely adored the, this opportunity to listen to it I, you know it it far exceeded my expectations to be honest uh, oh just for the sake of comparison here is the est 50 there in red that's the est 50 uh, and you can understand why i said it kind of reminded me of the est 50 the difference is the est 50 has not only got more bass but the bass is more and more quality and it's got that snappiness which the wood doesn't have otherwise the mids and the way the mids have been done and everything fantastic you know looking at these graphs uh, if you were to show me these graphs before i actually finally took this delve into into 
Benon and Ayacin and Kyanera, I would have said, no way, this is, nah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to like this, you know? While if you look at the graph of a moon drop, it is appealing. You look at it and you say, okay, I, I like this. It's got a kind of a harmony style. I, I'm going to like this. This requires you being a little bit uh, more open-minded, which fortunately I have become. The same thing goes here, you know? Um, and yeah, guys, that's it. Like and subscribe. Any questions, please feel free. Shoot, you know, let's let's make this channel grow. Let's, let's, let's show across to the world. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.